All right. As you can see, it's raining moderately. Feeling a light day. So I took out the 16 kilo back. I keep saying it from video to video that I need to give my left shoulder a little bit of a break to recover here. Because I can keep pressing one arm PRs on my right, but not on my left. Left shoulder's been tight for weeks now. Need to do more stretching, need to do some more mobility, and I tend to neglect both. But today raining, having no chalk, no gloves on, I'm thinking 10 sets of five, or maybe even 20 sets of five, bottoms up pressing this light 16 kilo bell. I'm gonna do it both sides. Run through the workout, see how quick I can get 50 or 100 presses aside, bottoms up, doing them in sets of five with no chalk, with the rain coming down. And I think for interest, I'll try not to wipe my hands. From this point on, none of that, and keep my hands out, not in the pocket, because that would be a way to wipe them off of all the liquid too. Seems kind of silly. Last night when it started raining, I took out a jump rope. It was a great little impulse purchase. Five bucks for a weighted handle jump rope. Hadn't had a weighted handle jump rope probably about 10 years. Had a couple when I was late teens, early 20s, and I broke all of them. So it's been almost a decade since I had a good, usable weighted handle jump rope. And after yesterday's kettlebell, I ate dinner. A couple hours later, I ate dinner, and right after dinner, went outside with that new jump rope. My little five-dollar impulse purchase, born in the opposite of weakness, did a thousand revolutions. Get a good amount of upper back out of jump rope. Oh shoot, <laughs> three or four, call that three. Got a good amount of upper back activation out of the jump rope. Feel my traps, feel my mid back, and 1950s bodybuilding writings. I was talked of rib cage expansion. At the right side of my rib cage, cramping up. When I was about 700, 750 skips in. Call that four. It's an interesting combination that I've got going in training stimulus. I do overhead kettlebell every day. I do burpees some of the time. And now that I have a jump rope, I have the joy of going in the street, dodging cars as I skip rope. And all three of these things, rib cage cramps, upper back activation, all three of these things whew, all three of these things activating the legs, even if they're more upper body dominant.
all three of these things. Conditioning stimulus with a decent amount of muscular activation. That's really the number one training stimulus to have when you do strength involved conditioning. If you're coming at this from a skinny fat beginner's perspective, yeah, you don't need all the muscularly engaged conditioning stimulus. It's not your number one thing if you're a skinny fat beginner this week. So you need to get strong. First thing for those beginners to do is to get strong. Functional movement patterns and then strong. But when you're already big and strong, the endomorph. The endomorph has plenty of body strength. endomorph needs more conditioning. That's where the kettlebell, the burpees, and the jump rope come in. You're still activating your musculature. All three I find more mentally stimulating than going for a run, but they involve the musculature and you have that high wind get big and strong, and then change your primary focus to strength involved conditioning. See where that takes you. That's my journey right now. I've got the power! I believe I'm an ape. Someone in the comments could correct me. Maybe it's nine. Maybe it's seven. I believe I've done eight here. So two more. One more. Really hard not to wet the hands on stuff. Stick the hands in the pockets. <laughs> no, I keep pulling my pants up. Would have tried to minimize that with the comic aspect of the water on the hands. Old school Frank Yang. <laughs> That's actually a funny idea. Butter up one of the 40 kilo bells. <laughs> oh man, that sounds like a bad idea. Kind of, kind of funny though. Have to see if the safety team approves of <laughs> 40 kilo snatches, clean and presses with <laughs> a buttered. <laughs> oh man, can't keep a straight face talking about it with a buttered handle. <laughs> Now that was the final press I'm doing here. I just got a wonderful, awful idea. I 
I did not lose the balance on that. <laughs> All right. This was day 138, overhead press every day. I'll see you tomorrow.